so good day viewers uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation so in this presentation we are continuing answering uh, mathematics paper 1 for 2024 for GCE candidates so we are going to answer our question 12 start with question A the diagram shows a sector A or B whose area is 34.65 square centimeter the angle subsended at the center is 81 degrees and the radius is r centimeter take pi to be 22 over 7 so this is uh, the sector a or b which is having an angle which is subsended at the center which is 180 degrees and the radius or a it's r centimeter find the radius of the sector so we need to find the radius of this what sector so to find the radius of the sector, we are going to need uh, we are going to need the formula. So we know that uh, the formula that you normally use when finding the area of the sector, its area is equal to uh, theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. So this is the formula that we are going to use. Now on this formula. We must take note of something, so we need to organize our data. R is the radius, which we don't have, okay? Then, theta is the angle subsended at the center of the circle, which is this 81 degrees. So, the theta is 81 degrees. So, the pi, the pi, we have been told that to take 22 over 7. So, this is the information that we need. So I'm just going to substitute. Now remember your area you have been given in the question, which is area is equal to 34.65 square centimeter. This is area. So where we have area, we are going to put 34.65. Okay, this is our area. So we need to substitute on this formula. So where there is area, we are going to put 34.65 equal to where there is theta, we we'll put 81 degrees over 360 degrees times pi it's 22 over 7 times r squared so the radius is what we want we don't have so from here what are we going to do from here what are we going to do so the this is easy from here we can uh, we can do this we can say 2 here 2 into 22 it's uh, 11 then 2 into 36 it's 18 so we have 34.65 is equal to 81 over this 18 and 0 you have 180 degrees okay times 11 over 7 times r squared so i'm just breaking the numbers so that you follow through nicely all right so from here we can try to reduce uh, these two numbers so we have 81 and 180 so we can say 9 into 81 it's a 9 9 into 18 it's a 2 meaning 9 into 180 it's a 20 this 2 and a, a 0 right here so we have uh, something like this we have 34.65 is equal to 9 over 20 times 11 over 7 times r squared so this is what we have we can rewrite it like this that 4.65 equal to 9 times 11 times r squared over 20 times 7 now our main interest is to find the value of r. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to multiply the entire we are going to multiply the entire equation. We will multiply it uh, with the, a 20. So we multiply this with a 20. Okay. So from here we can see that uh, once we multiply uh, 34.65 times 20 uh, this will give us uh, 600 and uh, 
93. Okay? Equal to. So, 20 times 9 times 11 times R squared over 20 times 20. This 20 and 20 will cancel. Okay? You will remain with it. Uh, 9. 9. So, I've multiplied 9 times 11. 99. R squared over a 7. So, this is what you are going to remain with. So, when you multiply 34.65 times 20. Okay? So, you can try to multiply it here. Just to see. 34.65. Ignore the point times 20. Like this. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. 2 times 5, it's a 10. I'll write a 0. I'll carry a 1. 2 times 6, uh, 12 plus 1, 13. 2 times 4, it's 8 plus 1, 9. 2 times uh, 3, it's a 6. So you can try to add. So here we have 0, 0. Then here we have 3, 9, 6. So this one are two decimal places. So 1, 2. We put, we have this. 693 this is what we got right here so from here uh it now becomes uh very very easy it now becomes very easy so what are we going to do okay so from here what you are going to do is this all right so we have a fraction here this is not a fraction so we are going to divide this by one then we cross it multiply so, from here, we are going to say, once we multiply 1 times 99 R squared, we'll get 99 R squared equal to 693 times 7. Just write 693 times 7. Remember, this is paper 1. So, here, uh, we are interested in finding the value of R. So, we divide with 99. Even this side, we divide with 99 so that this and this you cancel you remain with r squared is equal to so uh, from here what we can do is we divide this we say 3 into 9 it's a 3 3 into this 9 it's a 3 so meaning 3 into 99 you are remaining with a 33 then 3 into 6 it's a 2 3 into this 9 it's a 3 3 into this uh, 3 it's a 1 so we are remaining with uh, 231 times 7 over 33. So I do hope that uh, you are seeing, okay, you are following. Now, from here, what are we going to do? From here, what are we going to do? So we can try to divide further where we say R squared is equal to. So I'm using, uh, I'm dividing with the lowest number so that you see how we are answering it. So we say 3, 1, 3, 1, 3 into the 3 is 11. So 3 into uh, 21, sorry, 23, it's a 7 because 7 times 3, it's a 21. So we're having a remainder of 2. To this one, the one you have 21, 3 into 21, again, it's a 7. So you have 77 times 7 over 11. So, we say R squared equal to, so from here, we are going to say this uh, 11 here 1, 11 into 77, because there are many times 7. So, I have remained with 7 times 7. So, we can say R squared is equal to 7 times 7, um, this is uh, 49. Now, this one is R squared. So, to get rid of the square, we are going to introduce a square root, even this side a square root. So, this uh, 2 and the square root to cancel. Then, the square root of 49, it's a, it's a 7. So, therefore, R is equal to 7 centimeter. So, this, is, uh, this was the value of the radius. So, we have answered this question. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Samlenga. Bye-bye.